Welcome to the latest edition of Loetry TV. Follow us as we head to Albuquerque, New Mexico for the 9th Annual Kavir Coalition Conference with the Aurelia Stewardship Institute of Santa Barbara, California. The Kavir Coalition was founded in June of 1997 by two conservationists and a rancher around the ideas of healthy land stewardship, progressive cattle management, and holistic rainzone management. Over 450 attendees came together at this year's 9th Annual Conference around food and stewardship to build soil and combat global climate change. Let's join Courtney White to learn more about this year's conference and more history about the Kavira Coalition. So in 2002, we decided to start an annual conference as a, kind of a, a formal way of creating a place for ranchers, conservationists, scientists, and public lands managers and members of the public to meet and talk about their common interests, uh, food, stewardship, water, uh, now carbon, which is the focus of the conference here today. Speaking to conference attendees this year was New Mexico's junior senator, Tom Udall. Senator Udall, a member of the Public Works and Environmental Committee of the Senate, shared his thoughts on land stewardship. Parties don't matter in this coalition. It's about all of you coming together and caring about the land. It's about uh, the knowledge that you generate with each other about the state of the land and how you can move forward uh, in a progressive way. It's about the best science. There's absolutely no doubt that you focused a lot on that. And I see from the speakers that are coming in and talking to you, you don't do, do it coming at it from necessarily a climate change perspective. You do it because it's smart, it's good for the land, and it's good for your children and grandchildren who are going to be out there on these farms and ranches in the future. We caught up with Brock Dolman, director of Occidental Arts and Ecology Center Water Institute, who shared his thoughts to a packed house at the 9th Annual Kavir Coalition Conference. Brock shared his thoughts on watershed ecology, wildlife, botany, and the fundamental relationship between people and the land. Unemployment is a, a bizarre notion in a society where we've just got millions of acres of land that's begging for ecologically literate people to come back to the land and improve the land and improve themselves and their communities at the same time. Lori Bauer, director of the Southwest Grass-Fed Livestock Alliance, also spoke at Kavira. SWGLA represents family farmers and ranches who raise their livestock in open pastures where the animals forage freely without the addition of chemicals, hormones, or animal byproducts. Here is Lori Bauer telling us more about grass-feeding livestock. It's actually good for the grasses when the animals are grazed in a managed and intensive way. It actually improves the structure of the pasture um, and there's much less pollution. There's carbon sequestration which is uh, beneficial to um, combating global warming. Much of this conference focused on people re-establishing their connection to and understanding of natural systems. Speaking to this was Doug Weatherby, who collaborates with world-renowned soil scientist Dr. Elaine Ingham. Doug is a passionate and active educator, focusing on putting together workshops and presentations on the benefits of soil microbiology. Yeah, we make a lot of money by selling products and doing all these things, but if we can have that paradigm shift that we're actually part of nature, and that nature is somehow perfect, and we need to actually understand it at a profound level, and then work with those systems, then the whole game changes. The whole game. Many argue that the future of farming is in peril due to the lack of young farmers. We'll have hope with the new documentary, Greenhorns. Let's join farmer and organizer Severin von Scharner Fleming to hear more about the film. The purpose of the film is to communicate about our lives and, and why we do what we do and how, how we feel about it and kind of the, the, the spirit of our community. The Kavira Coalition Conference shows that there is immense interest and urgency to reshape farming to live in harmony with nature. Far from simply producing food, the next generation of farmers is helping combat global warming and building community. Obviously, the economic bravery involved in um, leaving the kind of norms of, of our culture to, to embrace agrarian living and um, small business um, development and establishment and entrepreneurship, you know, while working outside and working really hard. There's a reason why we're doing that. And I think it's important that people understand that reason. Um, and also, frankly, we need more of us. Um, we need to recruit more young farmers to do this work. If we want to eat well, and we want our kids to eat well, and we want you know safe, stable, sustainable communities, um, that's going to involve a lot more people sticking their fingers in the planet on a daily basis um, to bring 
um, to bring life back to the soil and to um, bring healthy food to our communities. The Kavira Coalition Conference showed that there is immense urgency and interest to reshape farming to live in harmony with the natural world. While the challenge is daunting, nearly 500 attendees and dozens of speakers are blazing an exciting new path. Thanks again from Low Tree TV. We'll see you next time.